Tonight, this is a very special occasion, it is the uh, swearing in of a new council and of course saying goodbye to two council members, which in this case sometimes is not very easy to do because uh, these two fine ladies have served this community very, very well. I'll bring down first uh, Tina. Uh, Tina became, uh, got on council in 2006, am I correct? Okay. And um, she said, I'll do four years with you, Cassiano. I'll do four years with you, and she sure did. She contributed quite a bit to this community, especially with our seniors and our young people. She promised that she was going to do that, and that is what she has done. She has done a tremendous amount of work, especially with the Senior Center and all the things that they've been going through. Tina has been probably the most driving force and the most calming force at the Senior Center to get them to become more organized in what they were doing. And for our youth, of course, she became very involved in the youth initiative of Douglas County. Not many of you know this, but we actually have a tremendous program for our youth throughout the county. And part of that service is to work with families in need of special counseling. And Tina was very, very demanding about that because it was a program called Wraparound. When it first started, it was about 30 people actually partaking in it. Now there's over 400 families. So there's a tremendous need out there for our community to have this kind of service for our young people. Tina's been a member of this community for over 14 years. She is a businesswoman. And she is, a, I guess, a, she's a, also a veteran out of the Air Force. First of all, thank you for your service, Tina. Not only to this community, but to this country as being an Air Force person. So thank you very much for that. And she served in a variety of other committees. The most important one she loved was the Cherry Creek Basin. She really enjoyed that one. Dr. Cog was another one she had a thrill about. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But um, it takes a specific uh, kind of person to, number one, step up to run for office, and then once elected to understand what it takes to serve a community. And being a businesswoman, that means it cuts into a lot of your business time. And I didn't hear any complaints from Tina about that. It's what she did. She elect, got elected, and she went ahead and made sure that the, the town was taken care of. And it was difficult for her business, but she was always able to come to a meeting, sometimes right from a client, straight from a client, to be here to be with us. And so I'm going to present to you, Tina, a special gift from the staff and everyone here. This is a collage, I guess, of everything that we've attempted in the town. And you'll see all the wonderful things that you've been a part of here. So thank you for your service to this community. Wish you well as getting back into the Parker Day Spa, the best spa in Parker, by the way. All right, thank you so much. Tina, thank you.